so this is the torque speed characteristics of uh, capacitor split phase uh, motor so this is for capacitor start and capacitor run type of uh, induction motor and this is for only capacitor start uh, induction motor so these are the two different characteristics so the performance not only at start but under running condition also depends on the value of capacitor c hence its value is to be designed so as to compromise between the best starting and best running condition hence the starting torque available in such type of motor is about to 50% to 100% of the full load torque the torque slip characteristics of capacitor start and capacitor run motor is as shown is this the direction of rotation in both the types can be changed by interchanging the connections of main winding or auxiliary winding uh, similar to the previous one okay then the capacitor permanently in the circuit improves the power factor these motors are more costlier than the split phase type of motors now the characteristics of capacitor start so this is the characteristics of capacitor start motor so the capacitor value can be selected as per the requirement of starting torque the starting torque can be as high as 350 to 400% of full load torque now the applications of these motors as these motors are uh, having high starting torque and hence are used in hard starting loads okay so the capacitor start capacitor run type of induction motors can be used in compressors capacitor start and capacitor run type of um, in um, type of induction motors can be used in ceiling fans blowers and air circulators whereas the only capacitor start type of induction motors can be used in compressors conveyors grinders fans blowers refrigerators and air conditioners etc so uh, this completes third type of uh, single phase uh, induction motor now fourth and last type of induction motor is the shaded pool type of induction motor so this type of motor consists of a squirrel cage rotor and stator consist of salient poles that is the projected poles so this shows the salient poles or projected poles so a uh, four pole type of construction okay so this is four pole and this is the shading band here uh, salient pole with a shading band is shown salient pole means it is uh, came out from this that is the projected pole and having the shading band Uh, so this is the shaded band on one side of this particular pole so that is shown so the poles are shaded that is each pole carries a copper band on one of its unequally divided part called the shading band so this total portion is unequally divided so it is a uh, more on this side whereas it is short on this side and on short side a, a shading or a copper band is placed over here so this is uh, called as a shading band now when single phase ac supply is given to the stator winding due to this shading provided to the poles a rotating magnetic field is 
generated now how this rotating magnetic field is generated so that we'll see so for that purpose let us uh, see this is the um, current carried by the stator winding which is of alternating nature and produces the alternating flux the wave form of the alternating flux is as shown here this is the flux and this is the time so this is increasing decreasing again in negative direction increasing and decreasing so this is alternating flux now the distribution of this flux in the pole area is greatly influenced by the role of copper shading band consider the three instances say t1 t2 and t3 during first half cycle of the flux as shown in this figure let us say at instant t is equal to t1 at t is equal to t1 the rate of rise of current and hence the flux is very high due to the transformer action large emf gets induced in the copper shading band this circulates current through shading band as it is short circuited producing its own flux according to lenz's law the direction of this current is so as to oppose the very cause that is the rise in current hence the shading ring flux is opposing to the main flux hence there is a crowding of flux in non shaded part or while weakening of flux in the shaded part overall magnetic axis shifts in the non shaded part so this is the overall magnetic axis so it is shifted in the uh, non shaded portion because of the strengthening of flux taking place in the non shaded area whereas weakening of flux taking in the shaded area so magnetic axis has shifted in this particular area okay now consider the instant t is equal to t2 the rate of rise of current and hence the rate of change of flux is almost zero here it is almost zero rate of rise of current and rate of change of flux so as flux is almost it has reached to its maximum value so d5 by dt is equal to zero hence there is a very little influenced emf in the shading ring hence the shading ring flux is also negligible hardly affecting the distribution of the main flux and hence the main flux distribution is uniform throughout and magnetic axis lies exactly at the center of the pole face as shown in this figure so there is no that means evenly balanced distribution of this fluxes and that's why the magnetic axis is balanced and placed centrally over here whereas here due to strengthening of flux here and weakening of flux here the magnetic axis has shifted to the left most area or the non shaded portion now it is at the exactly at the center now let us see uh, consider the third case at time t is equal to t3 now at t instant t is equal to t3 the current and the flux it has started decreasing now you can observe it has started decreasing the rate of decrease is high which again increases a very large emf in the shading ring this circulates current through the ring which produces its own flux now the direction of the flux produced by the shaded ring is so as to oppose the very cause which is the uh, decrease in flux so it opposes decrease in flux means it its direction is same as that of the main flux so strengthening it so 
there is a crowding of flux in the shaded part as compared to the non shaded part due to this the magnetic axis shifts to the middle of the shaded part of the pole which is shown over here so now what had happened the here the strengthening of flux was in the unshaded area whereas here balance of um, shared, uh, balance of this um, flux whereas here now strengthening of flux is taking place here whereas weakening is here so the magnetic axis which was initially shifted to this non shaded area here it was exactly at the middle now this will shift to middle of this shaded area so that one that is the magnetic axis is now at this particular position so this sequence keeps on repeating for negative arc cycle also consequently this produces an effect of rotating magnetic field in the direction of which is for, from the non shaded part to the shaded part of the pole right due to this the motor produces the starting torque and starts rotating i hope you have understood this now the torque speed characteristics is uh, as shown the starting torque is low which is about 40 to 50% of the full load torque for this type of motor the torque speed characteristics is like this okay due to absence of the centrifugal switch in the construction it is very simple and robust machine but this type of motor has few limitations as the starting torque is very poor the power factor is very low and due to the i square r loss the copper losses in the shading ring is more which reduces the efficiency of the motor again the speed reversal is very difficult to achieve the speed reversal the additional set of shading rings is required so by opening one set and closing the other the direction can be reversed but the method is very complicated and expensive and the size and power rating of these motors is very very small these motors are usually available in the range of 3 watt to 50 watt and the applications of these motors as these motors are very cheap but they have very very low starting torque low power factor and low efficiency these motors are commonly used for small fans toy motors advertising display film projectors record players gramophones hair dryers photocopying machines etc so i hope we have finished uh, with uh, single phase induction motors and uh, i hope you have understood uh, all these so please try to recollect the things and uh, so we'll uh, as time is running out we'll stop here today thank you bye good day and take care